First at 5.30, in just a few hours, the Brayton Point power plant in Somerset will close for good. Perhaps best known now for its two iconic cooling towers, the coal-fired plant has been a staple in Somerset for more than 50 years. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto explains why what's next for the property, new at 5.30. Brayton Point Power Plant has long been considered one of the dirtiest power plants in Massachusetts. While many environmentalists are celebrating its closing, the town administrator says it's unfortunate. Since 1963, Brayton Point has supplied power to hundreds of thousands of New England homes. We have an identity as being a community that generates power for the region. And we have used that power to generate revenue for our community. Um, so, yeah, we're... We're not happy about this. We're upset. Somerset Town Administrator Richard Brown says the power plant was the town's largest taxpayer, supplying about 8% of the community's annual budget. For the last two years, we received $4.25 million in revenue for um, the operations at Brayton Point Power Station. But money isn't the only thing Somerset is losing as the plant closes. Jobs are also on the line. There's approximately 170 employees. Some have already joined other dining plants. Others are currently interviewing for other dining positions. Several have already moved on to other companies, and others have accepted a voluntary severance package offered by Dynagy. Energy company Dynagy has owned the plant for just over two years. Now the company is looking to sell. No immediate plans for the Brayton Point site. We'll continue to listen to interested parties. We're looking to you know, work with Dynagy um, and their folks to you know, find a new um, use for the facility. So I think we're going to weather the storm. Dynagy couldn't elaborate on potential buyers. However, the town says there are no demolition plans just yet. So for now, those two iconic cooling towers will stay in place. I'm Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.